What's up, everybody? Sorry about that. I went looking for something. I can't find it. So. I'm busy in the kitchen, huh? You want know this picky, picky spoiled dog we have to do now? Here, hold on, hold on. I gotta show this to you. You're not gonna believe this shit. You're not gonna believe this shit. So, no. this is Keita's dog food. All right? This is her dog food. We buy it every couple of days because we like to have it nice and fresh under the. Yeah, right? So they have, sometimes they have one that it gets super stinky and she really likes the super stinky one. I don't know if they just like add a little bit of extra something to it. This one's not super stinky. So this is what we have to do. We give her her two scoops. And it's gotten to the point where if we have leftover chicken broth or any kind of broth, we now make ice cubes out of it and we flavor her dog food. Oh, this is the super stinky one. This is chicken broth ice cube. Fucking spoiled ass dog. Ah, <sighs> uh, no worries. But yeah, no, it's. I don't know if it's something that deals with the ingredients because, like, one that we use is the same brand, same thing. Just once in a blue moon, it doesn't get super stinky. And I guess, like, this batch that they've got going on right now is not super stinky. And so she's just like, mm, I don't want to eat it. So, if anybody wants to know how this dog is treated, she gets a fucking chicken bouillon ice cube melted and poured over her food. Talk about how spoiled the dog is. And though she needs my hands. Baby girl, she gets spoiled. So, as I was telling Kitty, so the, the brand of dog food that we get, it's the, the loose bin one that we have at Soriana. It's got... It's got pretty good ingredients, um, and we buy it, you know, whenever she needs it. Wow. Okay, okay, see how it is. But the one that we usually got, it was super stinky, and she really liked it. And, like, this current batch that they have pushed out isn't super stinky. So she doesn't really want to eat the food. So, like, she will go on protests. She'll be chilling with us, and you just hear her stomach growling because she won't touch the food. And I'm like, oh my god. So, um, we have, whenever we do, like, a soup or something with a stock, we are now starting to freeze the stock in the metal ice cube tray. And whenever we have this food, we basically take one of the cubes, melt it, and pour it over her food. So the dog gets her goddamn fucking chicken bouillon cube. I, it's an ice cube, but still. At least the stock doesn't go to waste. I remember you showed me those. I don't know 
know what's up with this current batch of food, though. Like, she does not like it. Alright, so, tonight's agenda, wow, well, okay, tonight's agenda is Real Jack, we're going to do some Real Jack, um, mostly because I did that video, and I'm pretty happy with it, so. Just kind of slowly making some of these. Yeah, one more. Um, oh yeah, we got the Shade Prime. So, yes. Um, we made banana bread. We had an order for banana bread at 11 p.m. tonight. So, that's done. I think we're still leveling this guy up. So, that has been pulled out of the oven and it is current. Oh, he didn't do it right. I just remember seeing that. Hold on. There's a trick. There's a trick to getting a nice top on those fruit breads. Hold on. Uh, my mom actually taught me the trick of getting a nice, a nice uh, crust top on root breads or vegetable breads. Zucchini bread is something I adore. I haven't had that in a while, but um, so if you make if you make a zucchini bread, um, uh, an orange bread, banana bread, pumpkin bread, any kind of those breads. First of all, they're dense. They're very dense compared to like white bread or wheat bread or even sourdough. Um, what you do is when you bake it in the loaf and you pull it out of the oven, obviously right out of the oven is very hot. Cover it with a cloth and you have to tilt it, tilt it on its side. And while you're doing that, the steam with the cloth on its side is going to be making this nice, uh, like moist or a, a, a weird looking glaze on top and it's it's nice it's nice now you know all right so we are doing this i am working on nautilus um i know it's mr candy bread god damn it I want to do some real jack first. Um, I don't want to take Saren for this. My two warframes that I used in, in the video on this, this past Saturday was Saren and Octavia. So I want to do something else. Um... not do Mirage. Could do Limbo, but could take to do Korra. Could take Korra. Could also form a Korra. No, this is basic Korra. Why do I still have a basic Korra? Oh, I need a... There. It's Korra. Oh, I think it's because I was going to do something with basic Korra. And we can go and stab an Archon Shard in her. You like my, my collection? I have a small collection. It's not the biggest, but... <sighs> mm, might do... Might do a red one. I don't remember what the colors do. Oh. Uh, 
Ang katuluan. Um, I don't remember if I'm actually having energy problems with her, so we'll just go with with the basic red one. Worst that happens, and they just take it out. Um, we can do ability strength. It's not going too crazy here. Oh, right. I left Warframe on the other screen. I would like to, I would like to claim my shit. Ah, oh, come on. It's not gonna let me. Please? There we go. All right, so that is. Yeah, it's freaking fine actually. All right, so do a couple of real jack missions. So we're doing Pal World after stream. All right. So I went to bed, the sun was coming up, probably like around six o'clock in the morning, right? And I had a really hard time falling asleep and then eventually I did fall asleep, sleep. And at some point in time, I woke up and I was like, I'm awake. It was like 9.30 in the goddamn morning. I couldn't fall asleep. I tried so hard to fall asleep. And if you know that feeling when you're just like, come on, I just want to sleep. Where you're like, I'm, I'm physically tired. I want to sleep. And your brain is just like, beep, boop, let's go do something. Oh my God. So I was like, well, you know, laying in bed, is it going to do me any good? So in my infinite wisdom, I'm like, let's start cleaning the room. I didn't get that far. I only did the top shelf. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to do the second shelf. And then I need to start dusting these guys. I I clean this room um, every three to four months, depending. When I say clean, I'm talking about like dusting, putting things away, organizing, although that's kind of a mess right now because I've been pulling things out to do um, Christmas things that we're going to sell this year. So. But yeah. Um, I've also got my redesign for this desk. I got all the measurements done. We have calculated how much wood it's going to be, the cost of how much it's going to be, which is actually not that bad. But um, with the desk, yeah, <laughs> dude, that sucks. But with the desk layout, um, it's pretty much going to be the same thing, except I'm going to be shifted over a little bit this way. Um, we're going to have the camera is going to be here, but we're going to have an extra camera over here, which you can't see, and that's going to be to show like 
projects because it's going to be an L shape. So like the games and stuff are here, same same viewport and everything, but the other one is going to be more over here doing stuff. Um, I've also thought about like maybe we can do, I don't know, like if, I don't know, there's so many different things. I was thinking about doing like slapping the, the webcam on maybe on a Discord, not just, you know, Twitch, maybe just dis do Discord for like a 3d print and you guys can just kind of watch it i don't know if people would be interested in that i mean i see people on twitch do that and people like people do in so oh that sucks kitty that sucks so bad but yeah so i was thinking about doing that or just basically arts and crafts but it's going to be over here um it's also going to help organize all of this because this is a mess so that's, that's the plan, that is the scheme of things. I also found two little cool projects that I'm going to put onto this. This is the old Raspberry Pi 3. And I want to document it and I'm hoping I can get one of them done in like, what is this, this is February, towards the ass end of February, in like a month and a half. I'm hoping I can get one of the projects done. Enemy squadron have maintained pressure. Detected single person attack craft. Prepare to engage. Alright, so that's done. It felt so good doing a video for Railjack, by the way. I feel like this game mode doesn't really get a lot of attention. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, Railjack. It's not bad. It's actually gotten, like, ever since they launched it, they did a good amount of fixes. So... Alright, that one's done. Yeah, with these guys, when they're shielded, you gotta do whatever that button is. I changed the E. It's behind, it's behind my, my webcam.
finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Yeah, that got it. Okay. Missing one more. I hate it when you're trying to sleep. Like, we're going back to that previous conversation. I hate it when you're trying to sleep and your brain is just like, let's go do some shit. And you're just like, no, I want to sleep. I need to sleep. And your brain's like, mm -mm, beep boop. Beep boop, motherfucker. Fuck is the engine? Oh. Right here. Ah, shit. Woo, where are we going? We're going somewhere. Destroy the core now. Marking sensitive systems. Crash the place. Exterior weak point exposed. Open fire. Ship killer platform offline. Permanently. Well done. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Omni Tool is your friend. Gauss Prime is a thing that I haven't started yet. <laughs> Had to come up with a new piece of paper. Unreal chicken.
Paper, paper. Hey, sticky notes. Just, just sticky notes. Yeah, they have them. These guys will stop in soon. Alright, we're doing that. Okay, so Wisp Prime, I still need the blueprints. The Rip Prime, I still need the Neuroptics. Um. Reverse Prime, I need the barrel. Give me a second. Making sure I got everything so I can just toss this one away. I got the Corvass. I think the Corvass is written down a couple times. Is these bones? What is your mind, the operator, to take time for themselves? Pressure creates diamonds, yes, but it also creates wealth. Give me a second. Translating shit. Well, not trans transcribing, my bad. Um, okay. nice, but yeah, no, going back to the desk thing, like I put a lot of thought into it and no, it's going to be, it's going to be a huge L. Um, we are going to go to Home Depot to get the board. It's not going to be... It's like this, except oh, there's a term for it. It's got like a, a thin veneer on top. It's not vellum. It's MDF with a thin veneer and they have black and they have white. Obviously I'm going to go with the black, but it's got, it basically it's a, a sealed thing. And if you haven't really seen what this desk looks like, but we didn't seal this and liquid and water has kind of gotten into it sometimes and there's like some little raised bubbles. This is like one of the first big projects that Vic was doing when he started woodworking. So, but yeah, now that's, that's the big project that we have going on and it was going to be we're going to do my room first and then Vic is doodling some sketches making some measurements for basically changing up his room since his room was the workshop when both of us were in here so he's been rearranging some things getting a, a better idea stuff like that so Changes this year. Changes. We got changes. I mean, guacamole is delicious, no matter what. 
I honestly thought today was Saturday, and I was just like, oh man, we can totally go to the to the Tianguis and go purchase a small thing of guacamole. Clearly it's not Saturday, it's Thursday. Yours. Enemy squadron have maintained pressure. Strange place for a hangar. Find out why it is here. Enemy cruise ship has arrived. They are powering weapons. Crew, forward seek formation detected near you. Mmm, pancakes. Incoming ground sleds about to ring the doorbell. About to ring the doorbell. Are we close? Yeah, we are. Okay. So you got one down there? One thing that I forgot to mention on that video, well, is that when you do a real jack mission, your ground team, everybody basically operates as one. So whoever collects things is collecting it for the entire party, which is nice. and we'll take a look inside. Enemy fighters on the run. Oh, that was starting to hurt a little bit. Ship 
I'm sure, yeah, you guys do have. Yeah. I will admit, ever since moving here, we have a we have a small kitchen. Neuroptics. Did you get the milk too? I know. Okay. Yee. Yee. Which milk did you get? The blue one? Yeah, it's like 15 pesos, right? Ah, advertisement lied. You saw him? Yeah. You tell him it was done? Yeah. All right.
the guy said that he was going back, and I'm like, all right. And then I'm like, well, we need to complete the mission. I'm not going to fucking leave after that. Are you kidding me? But I got my Baruch Primer Optics. Oh, my God. Oh, that's amazing. All right, last cookie. Oh, 19 extract. Oh, I think I have some. Um, let's put off here. I'm a damn dreamer. Tata, love you. All right, so Brick Prime is going to be technically complete now. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, so it's just Wisp Prime Blueprint and Corvus Prime Barrel. Oh, that makes me so happy. Uh, this is like what I started a couple months ago, so... Let's see if anything's done leveling. So the Verglas, so since I've been doing a little bit, focusing a little bit more on the Railjack, um, I've been wanting to get my Verglas up, which is the, uh, it's, it's the thing that's associated with the Railjack, makes your fights easier, technically. So this is, yeah, we're doing, we're doing viral because it's got something else I think in me on it. I'm not quite sure, but, um, so we put one pharma in, we're going to do another pharma like that. I'm gonna give us that. So let's look up toxin. We can do malignant force. Put that into there. Give this a little bit more. Mm, you know. Also, we can put that in there. Um, we can work on getting that. And then I think the only other thing that we're going to do. Actually, here about let's put this. Take that off. Um. Right, rounds we can do that, and that's going to put us, yeah, at 102% status. All right, and I think after that, we can do um, we could either do a punch through, I don't remember what a Verglas is. If it's a uh, is that a shotgun or is it a rifle? I don't remember, I think it's a rifle. Yeah, it says rifle since we got that. Okay, here. Um, there was something else I wanted to stick on here. Especially with all of these newer-ish mods. That was a little fun. Yeah, we could do this one. I mean, we already got the hundred over a hundred percent that, so yeah, we could totally do that. Could do the galvanized scope on it as well, but we have to level this up. So Nautilus. <clears throat> so the things with the Nautilus is, I actually don't think I have a Nautilus in my companion guide. Um, has this one? This is why I'm leveling it up because we're doing Railjack. Um, the Auto Omni is, it has 100% chance to repair nearby Railjack hull damages and extinguishes fires on Railjack. Um, so that means that if there's a fire on the ship, 
I don't have to worry about it because as long as I have him, you go do it. Um, overall, I think that's everything. I, th I know that I'm, I'm forming so that we can get a higher enhanced mentality, but there's that one. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep the cordon on it. Um, it forces enemies within 30 meters of the target into clusters for easier targeting. With that, I want to put the Verglas on. I would rather put like a shotgun because if they're going to be clustered, you're going to be better for a shotgun damage in my opinion, but I'm still, I'm, I'm still, still debating. Oh yeah, it's got an innate, an IC beam. So yeah, cold damage. So that's thoughts. But as I said, I haven't quite taken him out yet to really see what it is. So there's that. Um, what is the last? No, I already have the Paris done. Oh, okay. so yeah, no, we can change to something else. Got that last evolution done. Okay. Unless I wanted to form up, but I don't think I'm going to be forming. Oh, I am forming it. That's okay. Ooh, okay. Actions. And I should have one, yeah. And I do not have a primary arcane adapter. Where do I get these? These are they're either Teshin. I think they're Teshin. Let's go see Teshin. Ooh, yeah, he's coming, yeah. Right, one more cookie. How many of these do I have? 231. Okay. Ooh, I'm tempted. Grab this though. Let's grab two of each. I didn't realize I actually ran out of these. I had like seven or eight of them that time, like each one. Okay, so there's that. Move from the window. Alright, so for the arcane for the Paris Prime. Mm. No. I mean, we could do that. Do I have, I do have toxin going on. Oh yeah, I do have toxin. Which one was it with toxin? <laughs> That's this one, right? Where do I get primary blight from? It's something I don't do a lot of. Do 
the very start got found. Okay, well, we'll, we'll slap this in here. All right, what do we have in this one that we can slap in here? Um, air mutation, we could do that one. Could do a zoom. Projectile speed. Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, I'm doing the toxin route with it, so. Debating if I want to do a zoom, terminal velocity, or ammo pickup. It's between those. I might do, I might do the terminal velocity. I'm not quite sure. I mean, the zoom, the zoom is nice. You can't really go wrong with, with a zoom. But I really don't need to do mutation ammo. The Twitch one. Hmm. Oh. I don't think I've actually ever used that one. Oh, I got. I gotta think. I gotta think. I gotta think. Hush. I mean, <laughs> you might, yeah, you were talking about that with your, um, Paris, that it's, when it gets the Incarnon form, it's loud. Um, oh, what do we got? Non-meme build, okay. You went the fire route. Honestly, that looks pretty much the same rate that I'm going for, yeah. But yeah, you did you did the Hellfire and the Cryo and the Infected. I like this. I like this one. Maybe I should, yeah. <clears throat> Probably gonna do a little bit of the ones I'm missing. Oh, um, max punch through. Oh man, holy shit! The critical chance on that. Do they have an an incarnon for the um? Oh, it's a big ass bow. The one that has stupid crazy punch through as is. I think because of the D. Let's put it on the second one. I'm still with some stuff. Oh, that one I'm not. No, you don't have anything over there. Okay. So, what's the first one I'm missing? Split chamber, heavy caliber, primed shred. Split chamber, heavy caliber, primed shred. Hellfire cryo. Okay, so it's serration and infected clip that I'm missing on that. Serration and infected clip. Okay, so let's put... Let's put some lower ones in here. Oh my god, I forgot all they got here. Are you serious right now? Okay, there we go. Hellfire. Serration and infected clips. So let's find just, we'll just do basic shred. 
mountains. There. There. That way I have them there. Why are these cookies so goddamn nice? Let's go level this baby up. Oh, I'm so close to 600,000. Come on. Do we have anything I can sacrifice? I'm willing to sacrifice? Not really. I mean, I can do one of those. There. Now I feel better. <laughs> Alright, so I think opening slam is going to be the next one that I focus on. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with these things. I Once I finish Naraman, this is the last one I have to do. Everything else has been done. It takes so long to do these. I mean, I'm also not really actively farming it, so... Yep, let's do some more real jack. You wanna join, Squirrel? Did it? Because I remember when Hull played. When, he, when Hellraiser played, there was this one. The Daikyu. Because <clears throat> that was the one that he, I always saw him using. He could, like, punch through walls, I think. I don't know. But anyway, working on, working on, working on to Paris. Let me join, let me add you, or you join, or whatevs. Oh, wait. Ooh, weapon comparison. I like the personal lens a lot. So the Daikyu has a 40% puncture. Whoa, okay. Paris Prime has 80% puncture. Well, shit, look at that. Even with the uncharged shot, it's 85% puncture. Look, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh wow, the Dread and the Cernos Prime. 90% impact or 90% slow. Wow, Mutalist Cernos, 100% toxin, of course. Guba Brahma, 100% blast and impact. That thing is nasty. Prisma Lens is the 100%s. I mean, the lenses too. Alright, anyway, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Boop! I'll definitely look at that later. I didn't even know that existed. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's a squirrel. Oh, squirrel. I don't know. If, I mean, I'm assuming you just joined, but I finally got my last part for Baruch Prime. It was so nice. It was just me and this other person in Real Jack. It was great. So, yeah. I know, right? Finally. So, I just need the, the blueprint for Wisp Prime and the barrel for Corvus Prime, and then that batch of Prime things I'm looking for is done. After like four months. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Cup of coffee now. I had to buy milk so I can have some matcha tea later. Look at you in the shiny ship right there. I wish we had more skins for this thing. Oh, it's my ship. I was like, wow, this looks nice. <laughs> Now, if you actually paid attention to the video that I have posted about how to go about doing stuff like this, the skirmish missions, if you ever find yourself alone, focus on the fighters first. Get the fighters down. Because they're the most annoying little pieces of shit. Then do the cruise ships, then do the ground targeting. It's only if you're alone. If you're with people, it's not that bad. This guy here. Oh, someone's down there. Okay. Get him. Fast forward over to here so we can drop somebody off to go do this. Radiator down. Again. The 
ship is down. I'm assuming that someone's got this, maybe. I don't know. I just assume someone's got it. I don't know. There is... No, nope, they don't have this. Do I not have dumb charge? Where the fuck is my dumb charge? Okay, so fighters are done. I think should be. Yep. Okay. Three, four, five. Gonna blast your engines out. Wow, this guy's really turning. Okay. It should be good. Props to being very determined. We have one less probe ship to be concerned with. Direct attention to the remaining target. Should be good. And last but not least, this mofo. Separate. Wow, wow. All right, should be good. just kind of rotating out there in space. 
Yeah, let's go. Hundred and twenty one points for intrinsic. Jesus. I need like five hundred and twelve. <laughs> uh it's gonna take some time. Drop off over here. I guess somebody really wants to do the anomaly first. Why about me? So happy I got this thing. I'm looking for it. Prototype craft, one of a kind. It would be terrible if someone stole it. 
I adore a streamer mode. What do you mean a streamer mode? It should be streamer mode. Take this. What on Discord? Didn't take it, didn't take. There it goes. Oh, that's weird. I don't think I disabled it. Engines disabled. Should be good to go. That's good. Come back for that one later. I missed. Engines down. Should be good to go. Beautiful. <clears throat> Should be good. About to ring the door. Ding dong. See about their engines. Pump them full of lasers and bullets. Shit, we still got a cruise ship to go. There was one back there, I don't give a shit, we're going for these. Should be good.
person is really determined. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm getting my standing up. So. <laughs> They really need to fix the intrinsic earning right. They really do. It takes so long to lift crap up, up, back. So far away, oh my god! Reading large translation signature. Crew ship. The enemy have reinforced. Into the sea. Bring your hangar. Here for a reason. Find out that reason and keep it. Hello, destroy. Heard it that time. We got one person who's just strictly doing anomaly. We got somebody else who's doing the, the other mission, and we are here to blow shit up. Let's get those cruise ships a little bit closer. Radiators are so hard to find at times. Alright. Cruise ship, let's go. Should be good to go. Oh, 
Nope, 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 nope. I'm making a break for it. I'm making a break for it. Okay. I was following that little hexagon or diamond, whatever the hell you want to call it. Like, where is it? Should be good. Should be good. Um. Oh, oh, no, this way, this way, this way, this way. Squirrel's bleeding out! Squirrel's bleeding out! I got you. Since I go over the driving, a okay by me. I'm not quite sure this person's aiming at. That doesn't count. I've tried. I guess they're done. That wasn't bad. We got a decent amount going on. Another job well executed. I'm gonna see how many intrinsics I've got. Ah, the Zacti Prime is done and the Nautilus is done again. Nice. Well, Zacti Prime, I was just doing it so I got the points, but.
intrinsics, intrinsics, intrinsics. Please, that they're... Oh my god, no, that's actually what it is. Jesus Christ. Your shitty ass weapons are maxed. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be such a pain. I want to get this one maxed out. I'm at 151. Fuck. Oh, wait. No, no. Off the ship. Off the ship. Off the ship. I, I can access. Off the ship. Off the ship. Uh, equipment. No. I have to go somewhere else. Fast travel. Can allow what I mean. Okay. Oh, there should be a way. Do we not have it built? Can I not? What am I forgetting? We may not have it built in the dojo since we were rebuilding. Should be able to access the arsenal, right? It's a room that we need. Alright. Yeah? All I can do is inventory arcanes and mods. Uh, Alright, leave dojo. Then we shall reconvene. For the dojo? I don't fucking remember. We were rebuilding in. Oh, prime parts? Wisp Prime Blueprint and the Corvus Prime Barrel. So the last two things I'm trying to get. Wait, it said that exactly Prime was maxed and it's only at 26 here? That's some bullshit. I just got my first Gauss Prime drop today, earlier, so. Corvas? Corvas? Hmm. I take the assault mode off. Just the I will take this off. You do? The barrel? Sweet. I don't think I really need this for the Nautilus though. I mean, I kind of do, but at the same time, it hasn't died yet. Okay. I'll be there. I'll be back in the dojo in a second. Give me a, give me a hot minute or two. Um, Trying to come up with something that would work with this. Seismic on wait, they can do this one? Is 
So none of this doesn't have a melee though, but this is for the comp mm, that's kind of weird that it, it applies to this. Gotta be something better than what I'm thinking. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we could do fired up since the other one does cool, or I mean, Nautilus deals with cold shit, so. I don't really feel like I need a shield thing with this one. I don't want to slow them down either. I can't do that one though. We can, I've been having pretty good luck with the Contagious Bond. Alright, so Enhanced Vitality, let's have one that's like in between, that's the problem. Let's see what this one does. I'm trying to find a good, a good balance because the Nautilus doesn't really like get into combat situations, so... Navigation. Let me go to the dojo. I guess you guys actually get to see kind of the struggles that I deal with when it comes to the companions of finding what they excel at. Seriously, Death Cube was my fucking bane of existence for a while. Because I just couldn't figure out what the hell that thing was good for. And the only thing that saved that was, thank God, scouring from like years and years and years ago through the wiki page. Somebody had mentioned that they used it for energy and that they had this combination and it fucking just works. But seriously, like, I mean, with Worm and Carrier and... Helios and you know all of those other things like you you you've got the thing that works shade I mean you you know what they work for but for Death Cube I was just like even the Dorega I mean that one was easy to figure out I have a feeling that Nautilus is gonna be the next troublemaker for me I just, I mean, the only reason why you should have a Nautilus is if you're doing Railjack, because as I said, it repairs the things, but, and then obviously the weapon that goes with it, the Verglass, I could put heat on it and then have blast it. Ooh, that actually sounds like a good idea. I could totally do that. Okay. I would totally do that. You like fish, right? I was asking like for the fishies. Miscellaneous. That's just something that you do need. What kind of fish do you want? We've got some some robotic looking fish, we got some weird ass looking fish, and we got more weird ass looking fish. Okay. Alright. 
We'll do three of these and do three of these. You can have some sap caddies. <laughs> that was a bad, that was a bad one. Wait, oh, that's prime. What barrel is required? I just put the lead on my pencil. Oh my god. Alright, so literally just with prime blueprint. That one is hard to find. Alright, let's go do some more Rojack. A couple more. A couple more rings. Fast travel, dry dock. I also like Cephalon's side. Out of all of the Cephalons, he's my favorite. Ordis isn't as annoying as he was. And then there's Samaras, which is Hellraiser's most absolute favorite. That's sarcasm, by the way. Hellraiser hates that thing. I remember the remember the rants. Rising Tide, which one was that one? Is that the one for Octavia? I don't remember that one. Well, the name. There's one that had two other... Oh, was it? Oh, we're just talking about how much you absolutely adore Cephalon Samaris. Sarcasm. I don't remember much of the Rising Tide quest. Such is you hit it hit you in the feels though. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You need a real you need to construct a real jack and we're working worship dating back to the old war in preparation for the sentient threats. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. This is not exactly spoiler since this came out in 2019. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm reading it. Um, with, with sentient anomalies appearing in the Veil Proxima, uh, the player reconstructs Cephalon's site and a broken era Cephalon that fought in the Old War. While searching throughout the origin system for the missing parts of an ancient broken worship, the Railjack, Sai suffers traumatic flashbacks to his original crew who perished during the Old War while attempting to behead a sentient fleet. After desperately searching for a viable Cephalon to commandeer the Railjack, Sai realizes there is no one with his ex expertise or experience that could spearhead the Tenna's space crew in combat against their ancient enemy. And then with the Railjack prepared, the Tenna armed themselves. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. This game is dark and traumatic with some parts. Especially when you find out, like, the whole entire, like, what Cephalons are. Like, what the fuck? Of course, Umber. Yeah, no, seriously, like, what else? Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm not going to do a lot of, you know, spoilers, but I mean, what Warframes are was a surprise. What Cephalons are was a surprise. Um, What the whole, like, Ballas is a bitch. If you haven't gotten to that part of the game... Do you need help? I'll get you there. <laughs> You'll find out exactly how much of a bitch Ballas is. 
Um, just like the more and more that we get into like this whole entire, like all the whole entire like world and universe of this game, it's just what the shit, what the shit. And then, what's the other fucked up one? Yeah, what ten LR? Um, what's with the queens? Don't even get me started on the fucking queens with Worm, and I don't remember the other fucker's name because you know, but. Like, what they do to the Grenier? Like, what the shit? Oh, and then what happens on Fortuna? Like, what the hell with Utico and Zood? Like, shit, man. <laughs> and then, and then there's, um... Ah! Uh, oh, da 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 My favorite guy. I can't remember his name. It's Hammer Time. Tyle Regor. I mean, I feel bad for him. I mean, he's a little fucked up in the head. You know, he got some real crazy ideals, but I mean, I'm going to be honest. We were the bad guys with the tube men. We were seriously the bad guys with the tube men. Like, we kind of fucked up. I mean, yeah, he's a bad guy still, but I mean, he was trying to cure his people. And we go in and it's like, mm -mm. I mean, this game is dark. <laughs> it's dark. Alright, let's go do stuff. Uh, I don't want to burn. Let's go do this one. Yes and no, Umber. Um, I do think that we are n not as bad as some other things. <clears throat> Ballas and them fuckers, they were straight up dicks. I'm sorry. They were straight up fucking dicks. <laughs> I really want... <laughs> Victory. I really want to know more about where we're going with... With what we just got done going through with oh, what's his name, Albrecht and Trotty. Like I really want to know where that story goes because I think I w I want to right now I'm being hopeful I want to know if Albrecht and Trotty was actually trying to do better. same time they're probably gonna do something that although you know the whole entire Andrade family over on Deimos I mean that's a dysfunctional family if I've ever seen one but I feel bad for them too <laughs> god they got fucking fused to the planet like fucking hell Oh, I know, Umber, you haven't. It was good. It was good. I really want to know where we're going with it next because it does, it answers some questions, but then it creates more questions. They're good about that. They're really good about that. Yeah, no, just... I think it was a sacrifice. I think I've had this conversation before. If you can make it to the phase, the story part where it's a sacrifice, I think that's that's going to be the part where you're just like, yo. Tell that in the second dream. I don't remember which one it is. I mean, both of them are pretty... But, 
I do like what, um, the only thing that keeps coming to mind is Fibonacci. That's not the name of the quest that came out. It's the name of the quest that literally just, that came out like a couple of months ago. The one with, that introduces Deimos and Fibonacci and Metrocells and what the shit. I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, like, the man in the wall. Holy shit. That's fucked up. And the whole entire fact that it's not just one. It's not just one, man. They do. Okay, so is it the second dream? Because there's a, there's a phase where it's just... If you can make it to that part, it's going to hook you and you're going to want to play more. And I think the problem is that a lot of people, they never make it that far. I'll, I'll get off. I'll get off of that. Yeah, no, there's... It's somewhere around that point. Up, 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 up. Hey! Nah, there was the, there was a, that V name. They were trying to connect. Once they left, game caught up. Seriously, it didn't take? That's some bullshit. There it goes. Huh? The scale. There's Should more. be there. Yeah, it's in the box. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, shit. Oh, don't say that. Oh, okay. Still, don't say that. What the hell? Too when the when the mood hits, I've got like three different stories I'm writing. One right below. 
Well, now it's four, but... Ew, I can never do poetry. Yeah, I can. Mm. You entered a contest. Ooh. Which one's closer? This is closer. Oh, that reminds me. Whenever Sir Chubbs shows up, if he ever is, like, at the door whenever I'm streaming, I am going to grab him and bring him and you can see him. Sir Chubbs is the latest gato that, you know, kind of has adopted our doorstep. I'll never forget... I don't remember what class it was that Kitty had to do... Something. Sir Chubbs. Yes. <laughs> when you see him, you'll understand. <laughs> but Kitty had to do, like, rewrite a poem or something. It was something with, with stuff. Um, oh, what's the guy's name? Because I can't, I can't think of the original thing. It's, I think it's Robert Frost. Stopping by woods on a snowy evening. She had to like rewrite it or something. It was like some kind of English lit some I don't know. Robert Frost, but yeah, it was uh, stopping by the woods on a snowy evening and the thing that she had to redo it was it was great. Yeah, that's the poem that, um, whose woods these are, I think I know his house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. That one. The only thing that I hear whenever that thing comes up is, whose woods these are, I do not know. I really wish it wouldn't snow. <laughs> something about I have to pee and I have to take a leak or something like that. I don't even remember. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't remember what class it was. I mean, she would know, but she's probably not here right now. Um, let's do another one. Do da do da. We do 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 do. The streets are meek and bleak, but then I have to take a leak, something like that. Yeah, no, it was. Like, what the fuck? Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. But no, the stories that I am writing, there is there's a naughty one. There is one that's basically like my life story that one i don't even know what the fuck i'm doing but apparently when i wrote like six paragraphs and i sent it to my sister in an email she thought i was going to go off myself so after that she told me that i need to go and write it down because apparently it's touching and i'm like bro it's just like anybody else's life but like 
Um, there is the the game collab that Vic Hellraiser Kitty and I are working on, but that one has been put on hold at the moment on my end. Um, obvious reasons. I'm still trying to get in control of everything else that's going on right now, so. And then there is the one with the Vampire the Masquerade, so. But they come in bouts. They come in bouts. So. Whoa, I booped that one kind of hard. Whoa! Oh, where's where it is? I don't think that cruise ship really stood a chance. Oh, those red numbers. Mm. And Ah, uh, they weren't that 
to try to attack. Oh well. <sighs> That's why I can never get enough intrinsics because nobody wants to do like mission after mission after mission after mission. The more missions you do in a row, the higher intrinsics you get. Just saying. Yeah, I don't think that they realize that, yeah, I don't think that they realize that, um, once the mission is marked complete, you can leave. They changed that a while ago. Now it's a couple more like Duveri, the last milestone that gets completed, you, cle you keep everything up until then. I don't think they know. All right, that might be enough real jack for me for t for tonight. Go do some relic cracking. Oh. I will get these done. Maybe the next time I get an affinity booster. I have one hundred and seventy nine. Oh my god! And there's nothing that you can like trade in for like. They really need to fix this because this grind is exhausting, especially with the game mode that people don't want to really do. Which is sad because I actually really like the real joke. All right. Who's a pretty ship? Who's a pretty ship? You're a pretty ship. You're a very pretty ship. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Then there's this thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. So... There it goes. I don't know why I, I mean I can just fast forward but I just I like going through. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Alright so it was a core gas. Nice. Right, so that's gonna be done. Um, wait. Harrison, okay, so yeah, we're still, still leveling things, right? Wait, didn't I? Did he already? Hmm. Actions, polarize, let's do it in the sense deconstruct. I don't think we're going to get a Nautilus Prime, so. Yeah, I'm going to take the health off of him. We're going to see. We're going to see what else we can stick in there, because I don't think I'm going to need that. Especially when they have like the the primed regen and a couple of other things, so... Heats, 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 heats. We can do this one. Oh, that one's... Ah, fired up, okay. No, mm. Alright, let's put this here, put that there. And we'll see what we get. Um, fired up is going to be heat damage and weapons, so that means that I should be getting blast damage because the weapon that is with Nautilus does innate cold damage. So, 
that should mean that it's going to give me blast damage. If I'm understanding that correctly. Which then we can do the cordon, which because then blast damage is in a car. Okay. No, not that at all. Uh, relics. Let's see. Blueprints. I have a meso. Actually, I've got six meso. Six meso. What have we got? W3. Besides the WWW. Did you want to come along with Relic Cracking the Scroll or no? Bro, I just got my first gas prime part today. I'm gonna get coffee real quick. Um, it's gonna be a Meso W3 because I still need the Wisp Prime. I have six. I should have enough. That's synthids. What is it called? Void traces of get those nice, but let me go get some coffee real quick. Yeah, while the coffee is nuking. You ready? You ready? You ready? Banana bread. Look at that beautiful thing. Woo! Okay. So banana bread is done. We just have to wrap it up in plastic and deliver at 11. Yeah. Coffee cup on the poster. I don't know. I mean, it could be dead. No proof. No proof. Yes. At 11 p.m. 
Vic does it. <laughs> um, second shift ex co worker of Vic's works at the grocery store across the way as a security guard. He gets off at 11. Nah, they don't. <laughs> um, exterminates. I'm gonna do that one. Exterminate. W three. Upgrade. Shit, I only got like one. All right, let's do it. I think I nipped, nipped that one a little too much. He's the only one that likes the banana bread too. Like he's the only one that actually repeatedly orders the banana bread every couple of weeks. Which is really weird because I don't know about you, but banana bread is amazing. Eliminate all corpus threats. There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open a relic. My intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area, but I am unable to pinpoint their exact mm. location. Search them out if you are willing to shoulder the added risk. You found a fissure. Look out for reactants. They're dropping reactant. Use it to crack open a relic. Keep fighting. Look for more reactants. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Oh, that could be a thing, yeah. God damn it. You don't have cookies. We're going to go this way? Yeah, go this way. Looks like heavy Three cookies. Three cookies. Anyway, so banana bread. Mm. While the rest of the system cowered in fear, I took risks. I made a bold new partnership. Bear witness, betrayers, to my exciting new brother line. You have broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. Fine extraction. Vic made some orange bread and that was actually really fucking good <laughs> although i think my favorite though is zucchini bread not not something very common here in Mexico like at all. I mean banana bread's not really common either, so
Not lucky on that roll. And I spent a lot. I can't do them. I have to go and do one and get some void traces so I can upgrade another one. I thought I had more. You did? Yeah, I haven't even, like, as I said, I'm looking, I don't even know how many parts I have for that one. I get one. <laughs> nice. I'll be right back. Let me go deliver the rest of the cookies to Vic. Hold on. And then we'll go again. Cookies. So, Kitty, are you guys just, like, making all of the food at one time and then just, like, eating through it, like, the, through it through throughout the week? Like, is that, like, the, the, the going rate that we're doing here? Ah. Okay. Because I'm like, that is an awful lot of food. Holy shit. All right. Um, is there something that you're looking for, Squirrel, that we can go do? Because I don't have, an, I need like five more Void Traces so that I can upgrade another one of those things. Apparently I need crap, I don't even know what it's barrel receiver, there's gonna be something else in the blueprint. What's the third part for the gun? Or is that it? Ooh! Ooh! Let's go do a Lith C11. Do a Lith C11. A Gauss chassis. Alright, what is that one? Neo W1 Common. I have one. Yeah, we can do that one. Yeah. yeah give me a second. Let me, because I want to apparently start do, starting on these. So I guess from, I need a blueprint. I doubt we're going to get the chassis. New optics and system that have a little part I got. I got to go something. All right. Okay. For some odd reason, I'm circling these and I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Gus Prime was a what what? Neo. Right, is it Neo? Yeah.
That was it's common. We should we should get it if the two of us have it, hopefully. Mm. So when I was cleaning up top, I have like a little dish that puts like little small blending knacks in it. I should find a Bluetooth earpiece that I never used. It was one of those things that came with purchase of something. Oh, I'm stuck. Grendel Prime is another one. <laughs> Don't forget the reactant. You need more to open that relic. I don't remember what parts I have on them These guys really aren't changing to drop reactants, huh? Dude, this punch through on Paris is impressive as shit. Thanks for that build, squirrel. Get the tenth one. There we go. Dude, just in the nick of time. Jesus. 
I have no idea what that one is, but dual cuteness. All right. Handle, it's a melee. Okay. I totally forgot that you said that you had three of them. Did you want to share one so that we have an increased chance of it? Or I totally fucking forgot. Sorry. Are you sure? Okay. I told I was just like, once I clicked the thing and then as it's ticking down, I'm like, wait, I looked at the thing. <sighs> Fuck. I'm sorry. What about C11? Basic. That's another one I can do. The Phantasma and the Foman. Seems to have misplaced the I'm trying to go for the Excelsior Prime Blueprint because I think that's the only thing I need. I don't know. Can't believe. Ugh. No, we'll go back. We'll go back and get it. Our position has been compromised. Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. Void fishers. You need them to open a relic, but are you confident you can withstand their fury? No reactants on round one. That's not promising. <laughs> oh, God. They're dropping reactants. Use it to crack open a relic. You are going to need more reactants. Want to open that relic. Oh, come on, dude. Let them get touched by it before you murder them.
When is the next dev stream, by the way, for Warframe? Is it tomorrow? Okay. I knew it was coming up. I was just like... Remember to A, be awake and coherent, or conscious, I should say, at that time. It's fucking early as shit, according to my standards. <laughs> Oh, come on. Another opportunity to extract will appear soon. Wrong button. have on our team must be Zach who's murdering everybody is it you squirrel Jesus I haven't unlocked Corvex yet so I'm not quite sure what his uh like personally these people dying left right and center you're not Oh shit, so who is it? Damn. It's almost in the same level that you see for like Saren. Might be a Corvex. The relic has been cracked open. Finish your mission to find out what's inside.
I don't think it's Loki, so... Just wondering who's who's reaching out and you know touching the enemies. <laughs> this is amazing. Jesus Christ, people are just melting left, right, and center. What the fuck? Awesome. I don't know what's getting those guys all the way over there. You think it's the Czar? Oh, it could be the Czar. Nothing touched this cryopod. Ugh. Forma. Oh, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Sultra, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. <laughs> Something's melting these dudes. I don't think it's me. No, it's not me. This is like you just stand in the middle, right? And you just watch enemies just... Like so far out there. Yeah, it's Corvax. Yeah, whenever it pulses. Yeah, okay. Holy crap. That's impressive. I really need to finish that. I really need to get him.
Makes me want to go and get him now. Like, holy shit, I actually might work on that one uh, next week. I think I have enough standing to actually get his blueprint. Maybe. I also have to subsume him. I get that sweet, sweet endo. Are you serious? Yeah, no. Nah. Clearly, clearly it's not in the cards. Jesus Christ. Sad, disappointing. <laughs> Snorts. <laughs> Let me go change out my Zach. My Zach. Oh my god. That was abysmally sad. I need to get. I need to get more happy. Looking secondaries. Well, as you are at that, do I have anything on here that is a secondary? No. That's a primary. Ugh. What do I have for secondaries? Apparently I don't actually have a Furious Prime. What have I been doing with myself? Shit. <laughs> also the axe oh my god, okay. What is your mind, the operator, to take time for himself? Wait a second. Pressure creates silence, yes. But it also creates love. My go is act bold so again, but that thing's always out there. Oh, I need to make this 
so as I can finally rebuild that so I can get the Aclex, not the Aclex, the, the Incarnon for Lex Prime. Because it doesn't go on the Aclex Prime. Because fuck you, that's why. Yeah, I don't have a lot of secondaries that I'm going for. I, mean, I do, but I don't. Love Prime has been there for like five years for me. Hey. Yeah, you know, I did have the mutagen masses for that, and then I built a Bubonico. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Parts I need to still work on. But that's okay. Anyway. Alright, so. I can find a different part of the secondary for this. Um. Something that I can level up. Wait, despair. I think no. I don't have that for despair yet. I don't have that for despair yet. I need to go do Pathos Clamps in order to get that. I haven't done that yet. Um I honestly don't know I'm just gonna let the dual toxicist just for now. While I finish leveling this up. And Verglas. Excellent finance operation. Please return cover. Uh, yeah. Let's polarize. I can't I can't say no to 102% stats on this thing. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Um, something with the six slots. Because we're doing viral. I mean, we could put. Could, well, we can't put that on because it takes seven. Ugh. Um. I really like the combustion thing, but that's more like a haha -ha kind of thing, in my opinion. No, 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 no. Give your radiation and viral. You have been tripled? Uh oh. Alright, let's go with that one. Let's see if we can make a burglars a nasty SOB to mess with. Alright. Um I think I should have enough for Wisp again. It was what Mesa, right? Wisp Prime. Yeah. You with me on this one, Squirrel? You have these? Do you not have these? I don't know. I mean... Mm -hmm. We'll do. This will be my last one for the Relic Kraken. I think I'm going to switch over to Duviri, go get some Pathos Clamps. Because I, there's things I really need to fucking build. Or we can just keep Relic Kraken. I mean, I don't give a shit. We can do both, either or.
You good? Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm at 26 on the night wave. Oh, Brother Cracking is actually one of the weeklies for me. Well, shit. Let's continue doing that. We got three more to do. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what to do? With, like, life? So that's, that's a heavy question. Ooh, I've had moments like that. And then usually I have a little voice that t starts talking to me at that point and just like, maybe you should like do something with yourself. And then sometimes they get angry at it because I'm just like, well, you give me a fucking idea and I'll go do it. And then usually there's an argument that happens, so... Interesting. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. Hey man, spelling's hard. I hate the moment when you're looking at a word and then you type it and you spelled it correctly, but it looks really fucking weird. You're just like, that's not it. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's going to be a part that I probably have to purchase. Ah. Oh. Sad and depressing. It's giving you carpal tunnel? What the fuck? Let's go back to doing Neo. I won't be able to do the things with you, but it was for what? Gauss Prime? Chat? Oh, maybe there's another part for it. I'm gonna have to fight. Wow. Oh, it's just that part. I mean, 
We can slap a Z3 in there. Let's see if we can get your part, Squirrel. Let's see if we can get your part. Neo defense. Sucks I don't have those relics. I need to find out where they drop. What are some of the questions? Let's go. The enemy is at our doorstep. We must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. Void fishers, you need them to open a relic. But Dropping out of your health class? Isn't that like a requirement? Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, you could do that. Oh, man. I don't know. I know the times have changed. I know that no name... He ended up taking a GED test because he couldn't he couldn't deal with the school education system that he was going through. I don't know if it's the same thing, but I remember when I was going through <laughs> but what I was saying was, um, I was always taught that you don't want to have a GED, that you just, you know, push through it and everything else. But as I have come to realize, the education system is not like it used to be. And the only reason why I say, like, try to push through it is because if, like, back back in my generation they were just like yeah you want to get a high school diploma not a ged because a high school diploma carries more weight than a ged i don't know if that's the same anymore i don't think it is maybe in some sects but In the end, just listen, in the end, if you do, if you do decide to drop out, get a GED. Don't just, you know, not do anything because that's going to be the death of everything. One of my ex-boyfriends that I dated lived in California. We're going to say his, uh, his name was David, but he was David number one. There was a David number two after him. <laughs> but, um, he actually did not graduate high school. He was able to do self-teaching. He got a job at Cisco Networking Security, whatever the fuck. And he, they paid nice. So, I mean, there's always that route. So, I guess 
I don't know, just, I don't know. Times change. I just remember no name talking about his classes and how fucking abysmally sad they were. That he ended up having to do a lot of like self-learning not through school. Like he had to do a lot of extra work because they didn't have anything. <sighs> Rn Jesus is not with us tonight, squirrel. Also, how to not be lazy. I don't know. It's a hard one for me to overcome at times. <laughs> yeah, exactly what Kitty said. They do require some sort of education, so a high school diploma or a GED would be the the things we do. I think I think the David one actually had a GED. Yeah. But I can't say shit because one of the generations I associate with got really, really fucked over with some things, so I can't say fucking shit about education. Because the millennials were told graduate high school go get a college degree and you'll be getting you'll be you'll be right as rain for the rest of your fucking life that was a goddamn lie jesus christ mm -mm. By the time that I was old enough to get into the whole entire, like, oh, you can buy a house and everything, that was when um, the housing market crashed. Couldn't afford a goddamn house, let alone a goddamn apartment. One bedroom apartment. And I think, like, like ever since that, it's just been going slowly downhill. So. Also, then it helped that I didn't buy into the whole entire like, oh, you have to go into debt in order to afford better shit. I don't like that way of life. I really don't. <laughs> The fact that I don't have like a goddamn credit score, probably definitely don't have one now. It's been like eight years in November. Um, I had to have my mom co sign for a car because I couldn't, I didn't have a good enough credit debt basically. Because, you know, being able to buy everything yourself, pay for everything yourself, apparently that is highly frowned upon in that country. Ooh, we're going to have a rant. Let's go. And by the time that I realized that I needed to have credit in order, like a good credit store to like get anywhere in life, I couldn't get a credit card. 
The only thing that I was able to get was a Best Buy card. And that one, you have to buy things inside Best Buy. I'm going to be honest. Best Buy sucks. This shit's overpriced and disgusting. There's a reason. I know that it's not exactly, but I like to joke about it. But there's a reason why Best Buy doesn't exist in this country anymore. Because they suck. Don't even get me started on Geek Squad. Oh my god. Geek Squad is a joke. By the way, don't take your shit there. Mm -hmm. They'll take that, but we already have some. Like, if you're going, if you're going to go that route, Surprise Electronics. I don't think they're around anymore, but like something like that, Microsoft. Micro Center, I mean, or something else like Jesus Christ. I would say Circuit City, but they closed up shop a long time ago. The only reason why I say that Geek Squad is a joke is because Bogey actually worked with a person who actually worked part time. A Geek Squad, and he would tell you, no, you're fine. He would tell me all of the secrets that that person had to deal with. Geek Squad, they don't know fucking shit. In the end, Geek Squad is there to try to sell you products. They don't really want to fix your crap. Um, honestly, people, who, wow, my voice cracked. Honestly, people who work at Geek Squad, whenever you see them there, they're sitting there just waiting to, uh, catch somebody who is unknowing or about their practices, honestly. And sadly, a lot of people trust them because Best Buy, they know what they're doing. No, they don't. You would actually probably be better off taking your computer to a university and having them take a look and fixing it. Most of the time because university workers have experience on some level and if they don't have it then somebody else in that workforce does. And you might be like, oh, well, you know, you, you need to enroll as a student. I'm going to be honest. I was enrolled in, in college courses when I was still in high school. There is a possibility. You have to jump through some hoops, but you can do it. Like, just take, like, a, like, sign up for, like, a semester. Take your general elective or something. Especially with your community colleges. Which most major cities have one. And if they don't have one, there's one really close by. I mean, if a, if a city of 80,000 people can have a university campus, full-blown university campus, and a community college, I'm pretty sure bigger cities have a community college.
Also, I'm going to go out on a limb with this one, and I know that Kitty experienced a lot of shit in high school. I did too. Not as bad as Kitty did. But um, if you have problems in high school, like with people being assholes to you and stuff, college, way different. Way fucking different. Basically, all of your all of your fellow peeps in high school are jack shit to nothing when it comes to like the bigger picture. <laughs> Pretty sure that other people have experienced this. Whenever you graduate high school, there's always like that that uh the yearbook. At the end of the year, you know, all of the seniors get their pictures slapped in a thing. I don't know if this even exists anymore, but, you know, you go around and get signatures from your friends or whatever. And then they would show, like, pictures of things that you guys did over the years or achievements. And then there's always a point when, at least in, like, the one that I had, of, like, people who are like, oh, where are they going to go in life? You know, the most most promising or whatever, the Battle of Victorians. I'm going to be honest, the Battle of Victorian that I had, she, she took like general classes of a GED. She doesn't have like the greatest job. I think she works at like Walmart or something like that. Um, <laughs> like that shit, that shit means nothing. It fucking means nothing in high school or I mean past high school. Like seriously, seriously. I'll do the Bratton again. Let's get a Bratton Cotton. Yeah. I mean, there's this one... There's this kid that actually found this out earlier this year. Um, He was really into the music scene in high school. He had a, a band, not like, you know, the school associated band, like he had his own little personal band and he was trying to make it big. And I actually found out that he legit got accepted by, oh, what's the fucking name of that band? It's an HSD. They have a secondary with Kyle. Kyle Gass, Kyle Gass band. He actually made it into that band. And this was somebody that didn't have a promising career or anything. A lot of people gave him shit like, oh, you're not going to amount to anything or whatever. And this guy that I graduated with is in this goddamn band in California, making it big. He got handpicked by Kyle Gass, which is one of the duos that was associated with Tenacious, Tenacious D. Like, holy shit, like Jack Black and Kyle Gass. Like, Anyway, that should tell you anything about high school and how stupid it is. <laughs> oh, I'm having, I'm having. <clears throat> what was in this coffee? The big cup of sass, that's what it is. Okay. I derive substances from mineral things, termite crackers, which the Austrians call Ipo Dom. Also, another form of carcinogen, but it leads to rheumatic arthritis. Do we have any exterminates? Oh, we have a capture. Axie. What do we have in Axie that we can do? Mm, is there a Gauss part in this? There is, but I don't have the relic. No, it's an uncommon. What about Grendel? Grin. Gre? Squirrel, do you have Axie G11? It is. I think it is a, ca a cup of slap your mama sassiness. I 
Vicarious. Girl is XED common. I have one D five. Is my Paris done yet? Hold on. No. Nautilus is though. You have four XG 11s Okay. Let me switch out Nautilus. I'll come back to him later. I have a shoot prime to take out. Oh, there it is. So I was like, Shade Prime doesn't have a... Yeah, I don't have any Grendel... I have... I don't know what Grendel parts I have. Um, let me slap some stuff on here real quick. Uh, we'll do this one. Do that one. Do that. Do vacuum. Wow, he's actually got like five of these things. Okay. A lot of things. Holy crap. Oh, I ran out. Okay. Instinct. Boop. Okay. First laser. Just slap some stuff on here. We do. Do that one. Can't do that one. Get up there. Okay. Uh, equipment. Inventory. Grendel, I have one thing of Grendel Prime, and that's an Eroptics. <clears throat> so, I guess that would be the chassis that we would have to go for, for me. I'm assuming that you have Grendel Prime, then. Actually, blueprint and systems. Damn, I am I am years behind on getting these warframes. Um, so it is not the systems then, it would be the chassis. Hey, all right, Neo S18. Oh, that number sounds familiar. I think I had to grind something out for that shit. And it wasn't like this in the past. I would take the blueprint systems if you want. I would I would be most appreciative of that. But what about Neo S18? Eighteen of eighteen of the S18s, okay. I got six. We can run through the six, see if we're lucky enough to get it. Alright, Neo S18. Let's go do those and then at the end of the stream we can End of the night, I should say, we can exchange those if you're still up for it. Neo. Mobile defense. We can do that one. Yeah. Alright, so. Grand.
I'm gonna do exceptional because I'll be able to get three runs out of that. At least. Is Umber still here or did I scare him off with the whole entire education talk? I apologize. I think I scared him off. Or overwhelmed him and or possibly made him so bored he fell asleep. Deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I plant them to the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Watch out. I'm detecting void pictures nearby. Ooh. Ooh. You are near a fissure. Be the enemies are dropping more. The reactant is working on your relic. Find more. to a terminal. Find one and patch me in. Stay focused. There is a heavy unit approaching. Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. Walkers are heading to your location. That's a window. Oh, I fell down. Terminal hot. Keep moving. That's it. You opened the relic. Oop, wrong way, mission. wrong way. Up my turn. Oh, he was taking a nap. I just ganked his ass. Oh, I don't remember what you're supposed to do for this part. Like, there's a secret room in here. Oh, that's been so long. Ooh, I should totally make, like, a thing about those. Ooh, inspiration. Your lack of honor has I'm sorry, Arbortus of Hexus. I can't go over to you quite yet. I've been wanting to go. I'm sorry, boo. Please forgive me.
a tanky mofo right there. Alright, I got the thing. Let's go. Oh, I'm reloading. There we go. Wrong computer. Wrong computer. I'm in, Tenno. Hmm. This will take a moment. I'm out of those. Out of energy pizzas. Oh no, I got health pizzas though. So I can really help in this situation. Mission complete. Go, 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 go. Zoom. <clears throat> Take the formal. <laughs> oh, man. Paris Prime is almost 30. Heat mission. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did it change? It was a meso, right? No, what was it? What were we looking for? It was... Oh, it changed on me. What was the part we were looking for? <laughs> the only mobile defense I see is a Meso. So I think it was a Neo? Oh, he's spanking the banana bread. It's not coming out. Oh, come on. Neo, yeah, okay. One second. Hold on. Everything in the Ordinus, Operator? Is that a pun? Hmm. I will attend to that after fall.
That would have sucked if that loaf did not come out of the pan. Okay. <laughs> Uh, to assist with dislodging banana bread out of the pan. Neo. Oh, S18. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Upgrade. Exceptional. S18. S18. New S18. All right. Let's go. What, Kita? I know you hide your dinner, yes you do. Yes you do. You silly little chicken bouillon cubes. What? Oh the picky eater has been sustained. Oh, it's a spy. Void fishers. Should not have been a spy. But are you confident you can withstand their training? Pretty sure it was a cross oh it was a cross okay, a crossfire of spy. Open a relic. It's okay. It's okay, I can do this. I can do this. There's a long way around. <laughs> All right, let's see what A is. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Mm. I don't remember this one. I know there's a wolf. There it is. Oh, okay, not that one. There it is. No, oh, come on. Ah. No. Nope. Seriously? Clearly, I don't do spy missions enough. They got extracted. They don't even know it's gone. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Wait, do I have that one? I think I do. I think I have almost all of these things. Yeah. Ooh. So there's a thingy in here. 
I am. You're a bit early, huh, Kitty? All right. Oh, I missed. We have everything we came for. Get to extraction. To be honest, I would hate to work on a ship this size. But like, which corridor do we go down? Oh man. Oh shit. Squirrel is bleeding out. Squirrel is bleeding out. How do I get the squirrel? How do I get the squirrel? Stay focused. I don't remember how I got down here. <laughs> oh, that ramp. Yeah, okay. Jesus. Jesus. Seriously, Arn Jesus is not on our side today. But hey, my Paris Prime got maxed out. Again. Hmm. Let's do one more. Same one, switching over to Ash for me. Oh, and then, and then that'll be it. Oh my god. Why is it so hard to get these drops today? Hmm. Be right back. Okay. No, wait. Actually, it's not gonna do this one because we're gonna have to do it anyway. Alright. Last one. Come on, Aaron Jesus. Aaron Jesus, let's go. Not that one. Uh, Neo, Crossfire, S18, Upgrade, I'm, I'm going to do the Flawless. Last one, come on. Oh, I made it to 27. Oh, it's going to be the last mission that I need for two. Nice. Oh, 
Elicit. Tenno, I need you to get inside enemy data vaults and retrieve crucial intelligence data. Void fishers, you need them to open a relic, but are you confident you can withstand their fury? A fisher, defend yourself and use reactor to open relics. Use that reactor to open a relic. I heard it happen. There they are. Come here. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. The reactant is working on your relic. Find more. Tenno, be on the lookout for increased security measures. You got ten, I got ten, let's do this. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. That one's always kind of hard. Holy shit. But sometimes, sometimes if you get just a little close to those edges of the lasers, you triggered it. So they didn't have the, the secret shaft to go through. Up, 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 up. Press the turn. Destruction is imminent. You need to hurry. <laughs> you got it. The data is still intact. We have everything we came for. Get to extraction. Priorities. <laughs> oh, man.
sucks that that uh, corpus didn't get into the a little bit more in view for that window. I could have just teleported through, but. Oh well. Zoom. I, you know, I can't be angry. All right. We tried. Screw you and your drops. All right, boys and girls and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. Didn't get the greatest drops, but got some stuff done. Um, all right, so tomorrow is a Guild Wars 2 night. Um, I'm debating if we're going to do World vs. World on that one or if we're going to go do some PvE stuff. I don't know. I might do some World vs. World. Depends. Um, so there's that. Um, we've got, since I finished Path of Exile, the story part, um, I've been thinking a little bit more of what I'm going to be doing. I've got... An idea I'm thinking of doing short little blips of the the maps. Tomorrow's date night for you. Oh, nice. Going all fancy, huh? I hope you have fun. I really hope you have fun. Have a good time. <clears throat> date nights are fun. Especially impromptu date nights, but good ones are good too. But yeah, um, so yeah, tomorrow is Guild Wars 2, possibly reset. Uh, Path of Exile has been completed for stream nights. So, oh, that's perfect. Ordering dinner and what? You don't have to do shit. Except throw away the takeout containers. <laughs> nice. Mm. That, sounds, that sounds nice, actually. <laughs> but anyway. So Path of Exile is off of the streaming schedule. Um, I'm going to replace it with Arma 3, I think, for just a little bit in the time being. Witcher 2 Wednesdays are still going to be my first playthroughs of games I haven't done yet. Um, Everything in Ordis? Warframe Guild Wars 2. Okay. Uh, this weekend I've got a Guild Wars 2 video to do. Um, I don't remember which one it is. I don't remember. I haven't done it yet. Um... So there's that, and yeah, we still have Pal World going on, we still have Armor 3 going on, um, there's, just, there's, there's stuff, there's always stuff, there's always things going on, so, but yeah, yeah, nice, so, wait, is Sir Chubbs there? Is Sir Chubbs there? No Sir Chubbs? God damn. Damn. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah, just we got stuff going on. Um, Path of Exile maps are going to be short little YouTube blips that I'm going to still stick up there. So there's that. Um, that's about it. We're still streaming. Yeah. All right. Catch you guys tomorrow. Till then, take care. Stay safe. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.